Hello guys, welcome back to another video for the Bitcoin technical analysis. <clears throat> what I have here on the right is the chart for the Bitcoin versus USD one day candles from Bitfinex. What I have on the left is the Bitcoin USD one day candles from Bitfinex, but uh, this is the top of the bubble in the year 2013, beginning of 2014. And what I have down here is the bubble model, which I have been showing for the past month or so. Okay, so if we look at the bubble model, this uh, compares to any bubble, any year through history, uh, any asset, uh, you can compare this to the bubble, uh, to the housing bubble in 2009, you can compare this to the dot-com bubble in 2002, you can compare this to the tulips bubble, you can compare this to any bubble from any asset in any year in history. So they all react uh, in a very, very similar way. Uh, one thing important to know that they most of them have in common is this first uh, when they go to the top then they have this uh, big drop and then they recover quick near, going near all-time highs this is called bull trap and this uh, peak here it's called return to normal because every, everybody thinks we're going back to normal and we're gonna hit all-time highs again but it doesn't happen and then from here we crash farther what has to happen with every bubble is that at the level where they started, after they go up to the top, they have to crash to the same level they started. Now, the top of the bubble in, for Bitcoin in 2014, what has in common with the top of the bubble from now in 2017, if we are in a bubble. We came from a consolidation period and then we went up and then all of a sudden we went up parabolic and we have a huge pump and then a huge dump. So far in 2017, we come from a consolidation period and then all of a sudden, a parabolic, we have a, we have a huge pump and then a huge dump to the same level before this, this, before this pump started, okay? So same level where the pump started. And from here, we go up again and we recover very quick. And then we go parabolic to the, to the top. Okay, so same thing here. Uh, we recover from this huge crash and then we go to the top. Another thing it has in common is that we have two tops here, uh, one lower and one a little bit higher. Same thing happened in 2014. We have a slightly lower top and then the very top. And then from here we, had, we have this huge drop, uh, which represents the drop I was talking about in the bubble model, the bull trap, okay and then return to normal. So huge drop, it touches 50 days moving average and then it recovers quick and everybody think here that we go back, we're going back to normal and we're gonna hit all some highs again. Same thing happened in 2017, we have this huge crash, touch move, uh, 50 day moving average and then bounce back up quick and everybody think we're back to business as usual and we are gonna hit $1 million per Bitcoin uh, but this doesn't happen and then we crash farther, like in every bubble, then here it doesn't happen and then we crash farther. Now, this huge drop here, it represents the huge drop we had these past days, uh, it was like three days ago. So after the return to normal, we start to really crash and then really crash low, okay? So we crash here like three days ago and we make like a double bottom with this first crash here Okay, and after this crash, we make a double bottom here. So we hit a, a strong resistance here and it bounces up. It happened in 2014 and it happened now in 2017. And we jump back up to more or less halfway from where this drop started. Same thing happened here, huge drop, touch this resistance and then we bounce up to halfway more or less. Okay, so naturally what should happen in, uh, in any bubble is that from here on, we just crash down to the level uh, where the bubble started, which in the case of Bitcoin this year, it should be like about $900 per Bitcoin. But uh, in the bubble in 2014, it was very unfortunate because this didn't happen like it usually happens in bubbles. What happened in 2014, let me extend this, we started to recover after this huge drop, so we are here in 2017 right now, okay? So after this, we started to recover nearing all-time high again, making a double top with this second, with this, uh, you know, it was a return to normal. So we make a double top with this, it hits this, uh, this resistance, and then from here, we start to go down 
and we go into a very long bear market because the bubble didn't correct naturally from here it didn't finish crashing here to the level of $200 per Bitcoin where before the bubble started we didn't we didn't let the price crash because there were so many people buying the dips so many people believed bit, uh, the Bitcoin was going to $1 million per Bitcoin that we couldn't uh, let it crash all the way down to $200 per Bitcoin so what happened is because of all these bulls buying the dips we prolonged the bear market for a year and a half but in the end we had the same result which it was touching 200 dollars per bitcoin but it took one year and a half but this was actually how the bubble was completed instead of crashing all together like bubbles usually do we prolonged this this bubble pop through one year and a half what's going to happen in 2017 in this bubble so far it looks we're following the same path uh, we did in 2014 so everything seems to point that we're going to have a very long bear market here uh, just like it happened because these uh, you know all the bulls are not letting the price crash naturally to where the bubble started so that then we can start to consolidate and grow in a healthy way if we look at the technicals in the bitcoin chart the price is right now bouncing between uh, $2,200 okay this Fibonacci level here acting as a support and then we have the 20-day moving average acting as a resistance which is the blue line here so the price for the short term it's going to be bouncing up and down in between the 50-day moving uh, sorry the 20-day moving average and this uh, Fibonacci level which is $2,200 the price is going to be bouncing between these two uh, or oh, that's what I think at least okay but then uh, because the 50 day moving average is uh, trending down uh, the price is going to have less and less room to bounce uh, so it's going to go into a lot of pressure and then it's going to have to decide if it breaks up or it breaks down okay the more we get closer to this um, uh, descending resistance here um, you have it you know we have the support here 2200 then this resist this resistance it's closing and the 50 day moving average is closing as well so uh, the price is going to be under a lot of pressure now if i look at the rsi here uh bitcoin is near being overbought so usually that's an indicator that the price is going to have to go down so my speculation for the very short term meaning the next two three days is that this is going to kind of uh go sideways uh like consolidating and then i think it's gonna break and the downside just because it looks like overbought and just because it's so bubbly like it's so bubble like it should you it's more common for bubbles to crash than not extend the bear market like it happened in 2014 if that makes sense so i think when we hit here these um this ascending resi resistance i think we're we're going down that's gonna be my take and another thing these arrows i was uh, uh drawing uh in my previous videos because naturally the bubble has to crash i know like there's no doubt and not that i know i don't have a crystal ball but there's no doubt in my mind if you ask me that bitcoin has to eventually i don't know if it's going to take one year two years or maybe one month but bitcoin has to go down to the level it before this crazy up movement started so i'm just going to continue because i think i still think it's going down i'm just going to move these arrows over when I don't know, but I I think it will uh, it has to go down. So I'm just gonna move them over here. Now, if we actually follow the same path we did in 2014, we're actually gonna break up here. So actually, I'm gonna do another arrow here. So if we break this in the upside, then we're gonna go up here and find support here to make it clear that I think it's not as probable that it's that's going to happen i'm going to do this in another color like the least uh probable thing to happen okay and if the pattern from 2014 breaks finally we're going down i'm going to leave it here guys i hope this is clear thank you very much for being here and i'll see you in the next video bye